Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, March 23rd, 2023, and we are in the fourth uh, week of Lent. And uh, this Sunday, uh, we, we continue our journey, and we're getting much closer now to, the, to Holy Week and Easter. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 81, and I'm going to do the whole psalm. It's not too long a psalm, but it's a, it's a psalm that speaks of God who is our strength and God who delivered the people of Israel uh, from Egypt. So Psalm 81. Sing with joy to God our strength and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the merry harp and the lyre. Blow the ram's horn at the new moon and at the full moon, the day of our feast. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob. He set it as a solemn charge upon Joseph when he came out of the land of Egypt. I heard an unfamiliar voice saying, I eased his shoulder from the burden. His hands were set free from bearing the load. You called on me in trouble and I saved you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. And yet my people did not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their hearts to allow their own devices. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I should soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat and satisfy him with honey from the rock. Well, good morning, Diane, and good morning, Eileen. Great to see both of you uh, watching. So Psalm 81, it's God saying, you know, no other gods before you. I am the Lord your God. I'm the one who took you out of Egypt. I am your strength. Don't listen to other people. And, you know, we get pulled away from God all the time, don't we? We get drawn by whether material things or just uh, other stuff in, in, uh, in the world around us draw us from God. We make idols of other things that, again, take our focus away from God. But God, in the Psalm, the Psalm 81, reminds us, there shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You know, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. You know, God reminds us, you know, stay focused on God. God will be our strength. God will be the one who provides for us. We are God's people and we are to listen to God. Again, something to remember as we journey through our wilderness uh, through the time of Lent, to, to Sing with joy to God our strength, as it says in verse 1, and raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. So continue on whatever you're doing through Lent. I hope you have time to, to read scripture or to do, do some sort of uh, um, devotions or whatever, whatever makes Lent a special time for you. Continue to do that. We're, again, we're getting closer to Holy Week and Easter, but we're not there yet. And we need to continue to be strong and walk with Jesus on this journey. Let us finish with a prayer. Father, forgive our foolish ways and feed us always with that living bread, which is given for the life of the world, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So have a great week. Oh, good morning, Judy and Mark. Have a great week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.